So we're here at, at uh, the end of the day, of second day of the uh, European Crowdsourcing Week in, uh, in, in Brussels. You just uh, give your talk, Wienke. Yes. You're from uh, the Fink Network. I think when you talk about especially grassroots uh, crowdsourcing, one of the uh, best examples uh, of the day, mm -hmm. or, or, or I, I guess of the event. So um, what is it? The Things Network is a open uh, internet of things uh, data network. Um, and the Things Network Foundation it, it has a mission to build a global open and free Internet of Things data network. And um, uh, what it basically, like, like how it started is that um, uh, and there, there's new technology on the market, it's called LoRaWAN, and it allows you to connect things to the Internet uh, long range, and uh, a long range, a lot of devices, and um, and really low cost. So when I like came across that technology, and, uh, like a guy on a hackerspace showed me like a router was Wi-Fi, and, and he said, yeah, yeah, yes, I can connect to up to ten thousand devices in a radius of five kilometers, and only cost uh, a thousand euros. And I like at this picture in my mind of circles across Amsterdam. Like that, that you only needed like 10 of these devices to cover the entire city of, of Amsterdam with this network and this network allows you to connect sensors and, and small things or switches or whatever to that, that network and then connect it to the, uh, to the internet and then and I came up with the idea to crowdsource it, uh, so ask the people of Amsterdam to buy a gateway. And uh, with the open source community that I founded, we, we created uh, the network software that runs on these devices so that it becomes one network as a whole. So that if you have like a, uh, a bike tracker and then you go across the, the, uh, the different places in Amsterdam, that it, that it will work everywhere. And, uh, and then we launched that in six weeks in Amsterdam we uh, like we, we we spread the story around the world, and uh, because we do everything open source, everybody can copy it. We said, do this in your city, and then like like four weeks later, we started campaigns in Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires, Boston, Sydney. Uh, uh, and we started in London, Paris, in India, like all over the world. So when we spread that word, even more cities got inspired, and so I now got a, like a list of fifty people that. That, that want to set up this network in their area. So it's really ground up built IoT, which is completely different from how IoT is now built because it's built by big companies that are pushing their platform, then their standard, want to lock you in and leverage the upside. And like what you're doing right now is that we're with like, we started with a tech community. We're, we're doing a tech push. So we're not so like at the moment we're not really interested in what you can do with it. We just have like this general, like this really deep belief that that people will do good things with it. But like the next, like the next steps, like like we now we're only doing this for three months now. But like the, in three months, like my plan is to build also like communities and uh, 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 working on use cases. So we're like we're solving a chicken egg problem by first making the chicken chicken. And uh, and like you already see these awesome ideas around the world. I was talking to to this to this party in Detroit, and they they they, they were thinking about like doing the entire city of Detroit, and we were talking about use cases, and then they said, yeah, it can be cold here. So we thought like, what about we do sensors in the pavement, and uh, together with humidity data and temperature, we could uh, uh, we could um, uh, predict if there were slippery pavements, and we make an app for elderly that they have a map on their smartphone. Uh, to see where the slippery pavements and so and then like everything starts like yeah. like the, the juices cool. juices start cool. flowing and then then people are really excited so this is uh, yeah yeah great and 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 and, and uh, when you look at, at a traditional company let's say in let's say KPN uh, they also think about these kind of things yeah. but then they are going to to, to yeah, do research then they go to try and in the end uh, there will be a product and also what you say they 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 want to lock you in but just when you look at the time frame they will take maybe two, three, four yeah. years, and you took how many weeks? Six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. Yeah, because, you, because, because you just try and then, and then we also, um, like uh, with my experience as being an entrepreneur, I like to work hypothesis driven. So uh, like I w I'm always trying to search for like okay, what's the riskiest part and, uh, and like let's try to like, like uh, try to um, challenge that. So the first riskiest part is like, is this technical feasible? So I gathered an open source community and asked them, 
can you think of an architecture how we can implement this technology in a decentralized way so we can make a decentral network and uh, so that worked and then my next hypothesis was can we actually convince people to build this network uh, even though like it's not really clear what it brings though to their, for them um, maybe in the beginning only a nice story that they can use in their PR but but uh, and that we we validate that that in in, in for uh, in two weeks and and then the hypothesis like if we do this here can we repeat this in other cities and we're like exactly in that phase and one of the things we found out by making it like copying it is that they needed cheaper equipment and they needed help on the technology side so what we tried it what we what we decided to do is make a product a gateway that's 200 euro and is very user friendly so because like building such a data network like it's building something uh, it's, it's building technology but actually the process is really social so it's a, it's way more a social experiment because the technology is there and we're just connecting the dots in a different way and and that's 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 what that's that's what we're doing and and um, and this this what you say indeed we're doing this lean we're doing this ground up and uh, yeah we we're, we're and even if we're fail, we're failing we failed like we, if we fail somewhere along the way it's really easy to to pivot because we didn't invest a lot and uh, even if we fail all together it's like a very cheap experiment yeah Ex extremely cheap and still a fun and a good story so 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 yeah, yeah, that's what happened, that, yeah. whatever happens with it in the end it's, it's just a yeah. great experience uh, that you bring with you and and uh, uh, what happened because you started with a a, a close community uh, instead yeah. of, of of people uh, you met uh, uh, in amsterdam yeah uh, but then you get attention from all over the world and everybody say okay i i want to join your party yeah. so i guess you built a good party because everybody so because everybody yeah, wants, wants to join, to join. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then what uh, because how do you facilitate them with the information because in the end when there are more uh, uh, stakeholders on board uh, uh, there are also people uh, with their own uh, demands or or, yeah. or, or, or uh, meaning so uh, yeah so how we do it how we, do we've it? written in a manifest so that's that's something that everybody like everybody now what we're doing is, is following that and like for now I'm trying to set as less boundaries as possible because then we'll see what happens so we got like cities where companies take the lead we've got cities where IoT meetups take the lead we've got cities that uh, like really strong individuals take the lead and then like uh, like we have to experience what works and 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 what I say to everybody is like everything you learn bring it back to the community post it on our forum like do it in our wiki if you made an awesome project do a walkthrough on to do that do that to to teach everybody how to do that project uh, and that's really nice because you're you're embracing the success but you're also embracing a lot of skepticism so like 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 there was yesterday was people tweeting about like about this is never gonna work i mean like what I try to do is like these. I need to have these people in my community. Like we have a lot of like energy right now, positive energy. Yeah. But we, but we also need some like positive skepticism on this because because there, then we will find out what our riskiest riskiest hypothesis are. And so I'll try to like convince them to like join us. If you if you really truly like if you somehow you're attracted because otherwise you wouldn't tweet about it. So yeah. there's there's something there. So. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, yeah, and I think also because when, like, when a company say, okay, I'm going to 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 build a network in a city, and when it's corrupt, uh, the, the uh, it's not really capital intensive. So then yeah. somebody else say, okay, you fuck it, I'm going to build it myself. Yeah, and and uh, and uh, and do it good. Yeah. So so also the risk in, yeah, the, the risk is is, uh, is quite low. And and but you're also now uh, in 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 the hardware. Uh, because you also uh, designed or uh, with, yeah. uh, with the foundation uh, your own device. Uh, yeah. uh, so actually, we uh, to be to be honest, we we don't we 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 we're, we don't really want to be in hardware because we're a social experiment. We're not a hardware manufacturer, um, but but like this was such an enabler that we needed to have this to enable these global communities and um, and and then this this awesome company that already has experience in making these kind of product uh, Twee Tonig from uh, Rotterdam came by and they said uh, we we have like draft plans already to do to build this and I said okay then, then let's team up 
and do this together. And 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 what's also like like another response right now is 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 immense on this on this on the launching of this product to Kickstarter. Like we've we've launched it now two hours ago, and and we're already on on like thirty percent of the of the Kickstarter. And 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 San Francisco didn't even wake up, right? So yeah. so so that's gonna be that's gonna be really cool. And um, uh, so yeah, so we, we we so we're in hardware, but but um, uh, we love to see people to replicate this, and that's uh, that's what we're actually doing. So all the uh, hardware designs, all the software, the firmware, everything that we of course can open source because there's we also use uh, licensed uh, stuff. Everything that we can open source will open source, and for the chips or for everything. Where, what we were also trying to uh, accomplish is if, if somebody comes along and says, I, uh, wait, I can build a 100 euro ga uh, gateway, like that would be like the, that would be the, the best thing that could happen to us. Yeah, but, the, um, but then you also have, have, to make, have to make a decision, okay, but what's the, the quality because you also want to have a more stable network? Yeah, so, so there's, there's both governance and compliancy. What's, what we what what are next challenges for us so so we have this brand now built in a short time things network so how like we now didn't set any rules we just say this is the manifest and everything we're going to do is in line with that so where 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 what we need to do is to we need to set rules so for instance if somebody uses it in a way it's not in line with the manifest there should be some yeah, legal constraints uh, by using this IP to use. So this is this is a completely new chapter. It's like way out of my comfort zone. So 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 uh, so this is this is something we're gonna also look uh, for a partner and 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 see like like the like like find a really good balance by creating some constraints. But like as little as possible. But yeah. but we should can con be, uh, uh, create constraints because because we started with with a manifest, and and that's 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 like the only thing that that yeah. le leads us right yeah. now, yeah. and that's really good. Uh, so we have now we have to implement that in other ways as well. So if somebody yeah. else does something with it, but that's really not in line with the manifest and why we do this, then we have to act because we have a large community of people that only do it because. They love the manifest, and if somebody then in the community or outside the community tries to break it down, yeah, then you have to, then you have to enforce, uh, enforce that that doesn't happen. Yeah, but you're now creating a really cool story, uh, yeah. uh, a, a really strong brand yeah. uh, with clear values, and what you do and by doing that, and also because of the, all the media attention around it, yeah. then you also join uh, building a party where people say, okay, I uh, I want to join. Yeah. I think the, the the biggest challenge is is to find. Uh, to really filter the right people with the right uh, 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 motivations, yeah. because uh, when you're really successful, then also people want to be part of the cast just because of yeah. that. And I think that's the wrong, uh, the wrong motivation. Yeah. And um, looking uh, to you personally, because uh, you're also running your own business. Yeah. Uh, what kind of business do you do? Uh, I have a, a IT company. Um, I, I used to have a video on demand company in the Netherlands called WebZap. Uh, we sold that to Sanoma Media last, end of last year. Um, I'm start, uh, from like when we sold the company, I started to, to build an app uh, agency, so an app, uh, app development company. We're now with five developers and one concept designer, doing different projects, and um, and um, and th th that's my main business. And uh, like now, like now, I'm here in this IoT. Uh, we run the foundation, uh, run this together with Johan Stocking. He's the tech lead of. Uh, of the things network, and um, yeah, like the, the, Johan and I, like we're sure we're gonna create some business in IoT, um, um, but it's not gonna be a network thing. So it's not gonna be. So what we what we are looking at is, is see if we can make businesses out of like providing services on these IoT networks, yeah. um, and uh, and and look uh, look uh, look where the opportunities are there. Yeah, yeah, maybe you, yeah, you can also uh, look about what they're doing in in, in Estonia, uh, because they're also really uh, ahead on, on on these kind of things. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you more about it it's, uh, later. 
But so you have the the the, 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 the foundation, and it's a, I think quite busy uh, at the moment. You have yeah. your own company because yeah. you also have to make a living, uh, and you have also responsibility of people who are working for the company. Yeah. And you just became father yeah. four weeks ago. Yeah. In case you know, yeah. A lot of mouth to, mouth to feed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had a great timing. To yeah, <laughs> yeah. How do you uh, uh, manage to find the right balance? And maybe because, of course, in the end, you can run really fast for a couple of weeks, but in the end, it's not also a sustainable model. So at, at what way are you going to, uh, because uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, your daughter, your company, it's quite a responsibility, but also with the Think Network, there's so many opportunities. Yeah. Uh, so you really also have to find a, a, a focus in, in yeah. what you're going to. So at, at what way are you going to do that as a I human think being? As a human being, and that I think with my previous company, I've learned that the, that you should realize how many work hours a week um, you can handle. And how so much is that for you? Uh, I think I think not more than 50. I think even 40. And um, you should know your priorities. And like I, I'm gonna like call these like management cli- cliches, but unfortunately they're true. <laughs> All cliches are true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just like when you're okay, become a, a, a father. A, a father. Yeah. So so like like uh, like um, uh, 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 so your priorities. You know like what's what's the, what's the most important for you, yourself, and um, that you delegate. So what 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 we we do within um, uh, uh, within the things network is that we're trying to get a lot of contributors. Uh, on and like everybody can con- contribute in their own way and and uh, the thing for me is to like like indeed what you said you you have to um, you like in a community yeah yeah want to have output driven people and you want to have like intrinsically motivated people and you don't want like the other way around because then they're just there because they want to be part of the fancy story and uh, so we're we're selecting on that. Uh, for my company, um, I do this with a co-founder, Pierre, uh, uh, and um, he runs the corp- company from an operational perspective, um, and I do the like the, the finance and the sales and the, yeah, the CEO part of yeah. it. But um, um, uh, but he, he can run that business uh, business for, like for the for eighty percent by himself. And then on the personal part, yeah, for me, like now you have just have a kid of four weeks. Uh, like if you if you if you if you really know what your like clear what your priorities are and this guy of course of course it's my daughter then uh, uh, then it's not so hard to make these decisions and I think also like I, I learned a lot of lessons with my previous company where a lot of uh, uh, I found a lot of um, uh, solution in just working harder and uh, yeah I think like a lot of I think a lot of people have experienced that, that that's not the way to go and uh, so, so somehow, like, like you, you, yeah, I'm, I'm managing. Yeah. So, so don't work hard, but work smart. Yeah, don't, don't work hard to work, work smart, and uh, don't work a lot. I mean, we've, we've, um, there's this strange paradigm we've enforced on ourselves that 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 we think that working can be measured by in time, but that's 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 like I think a root cause of of a lot of like people uh, having problems. And uh, if they like, they overwork themselves because they think that that you should work X hours a week. You know? I mean, that's not. <laughs> I mean, like, like don't know, like if you're, for instance, if you're a programmer or you're creative, like everybody, for everybody, recognize the thing that you've been like just doing, have a lazy day one day, and then the next morning in one half, half an hour you did more than the, than the, the last two days. So yeah, it's about uh, balancing and like this. And for now, with my daughter. I try to keep like everything b- before ten o'clock. I try to keep that free, so I have like a lot of time and and uh, like like my even that my girlfriend also can can start her day without like uh, having this whole circus in yeah. the morning uh, by yeah. herself. So yeah. cool. Okay, so I think you just have to catch a train uh, back. To yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Set for the interview. I'm really looking forward. Uh, 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 by the way, uh, people just invest uh, or donate uh, or uh, pre-sale in the uh, Kickstarter. Yeah, the company. pledge. They go uh, to the things network.org. And then, um, uh, yeah, there's a big button there. So yeah, and, it, it. and then just uh, search for a Kickstarter and Think Network, and then I can direct you to your page. Ah, so oh, that's nice. So, uh, do it. so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pledge. Uh, yes. And uh, buy the the, uh, the, the, the device and, uh, and and make also the the the, the, the network in Utrecht uh, possible. Oh, that's nice. And you're going to uh, 
back to Holland uh, back to, to Holland your to uh, catch uh, children and, uh, and daughter. Thanks. Thanks hey, very much. Thank you for your time, man.